Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're just going to go over my setup. And the reason we're going to do that is because a lot of people have been asking me where things are, why my stuff looks different, or am I using the latest version? So let's get to that first. If we go into the help and about free CAD, you can see I'm on version one, but it's actually version 1.0.2. And the release date of this one is August 5th. I don't think there's a later one to download at the making of this video. So why does my system look different to yours? When I start up, I don't see the startup screen. And the reason for that is if you look on the startup screen, if it comes up for you, there's actually a checkbox on there that says show this every time we start up. And if you uncheck that, it won't show up anymore. So that's what I've done because I, I don't use the startup um, view. I just come straight into part design. And the way to do that, <clears throat> if you go into your preferences, so you can see that I have my system set up to be in metric. Um, I just prefer that. Uh, I have it in FreeCAD Classic, and the reason I did that is I left it the way it is by default so that it wouldn't look strangely different to you guys. Uh, but you can have any one of these themes that you would like. There's a dark theme, a light theme, the open dark, open light. You can add more themes in Add-on Manager. So there's lots of ways you can modify things. Um, what I also do is... On startup, I want it to be in my, I want it to be in part design. So if I go to workbenches and available workbenches, it says startup workbench and it's going to be part design. And the workbench selector type is a combo box. And the workbench selector item style is icon and text. So that's why mine, when it starts up, starts up into part design. You can have it start into anything you want. I like it to start in part design. So that's what I use most of the time. So then in my display, I pretty much leave that default. However, I do make my icon slightly bigger. Again, so you guys can see it, you can do what you want with the icons, have them however you want them to look. One other thing about this preferences, notice I have preferences for part design and sketcher. Where are all the other preferences for like part and all of those other workbenches? When you open the workbench, you will see the preferences pop up in here. So if you're looking to set preferences for a particular workbench, just make sure that you had the workbench open before you open this preferences panel. Um, other than that, I really don't have anything that I've changed um, from a preferences perspective. I try to leave it as standard as I can. The only reason I change anything is to, to try and make it look better for you guys, easier to follow along. So the next part is... Why does my screen layout look different? And if you look, I have my tasks are over here on the right. And it's because you can grab these tasks and you can move them. And so if I move that, it went to the top. And then, of course, it's disappeared. Why did it disappear? Let's take a look. So for some reason, when you move it and let it go, it goes into disappeared mode. Um, if you take the view and you go down to panels and you say tasks it pops back up so i know a lot of people have had trouble where they've moved it around and it disappears so it's important to know that so it's just view and panels and tasks and just switch it on so i can switch it on and switch it off from there so if i unclick it it's off tasks is back on and then i can move it to wherever i want it to be so it could be at the bottom it can be at the top I like mine to be over to the side like that. So that's why my tasks show up over here. And my model is over here, my model tree. So you could move the model over there, move the tasks over here. You could have the model across the bottom. You can have the tasks across the top. It's entirely up to you how you want it laid out. 
I did it this way to make it easier for you guys to see it. So what happens is when I'm using my model, you can see my tasks on this side. If you have everything in one piece here, one's going to overlap the other and you can't see them very well. Now, in addition to that, you can also move the icons around in the icon bar. And so your icons might be in a different location to mine. What I've done with all of mine, if the if there's not enough space, the icons will disappear and you have to sort of hover over on it to get them to show up. What I've done is I've expanded all mine. So I went to two levels and expanded everything so that you can see them. I did that on purpose so that you guys could see them uh, easily. I didn't want them to be hidden because that makes for um, potentially an issue for you guys seeing what it is I'm actually doing. So again, that's my setup. Um, one more thing I should show you is down here on the right, it has a mouse function and I can use any of these functions. So if I pop up here, I could have it in Blender, I could have it in CAD, Gesture, Maya Gesture, Open Cascade, Open Inventor, Open SCAD, Revit, Tinkercad, Touchpad. I always have mine in Blender. And the reason I have it in Blender is because I use Blender as well. I actually use it for doing my video editing. And so having all the keys work the same way is just convenient for me. If you look there, it shows you exactly what happens with the Blender type of mouse functions. If you've changed yours to something else, your mouse will function differently. So if you want to be the same, if you want to do it the same way I'm doing it, use the Blender one. If you don't, if you've got your own idea of how you want it to work, that's fine. Just remember that yours is going to work differently to mine. Now, you can modify that Blender setting by going to Edit Preferences. So if I go into Display, Navigation, here's where my mouse setup is. I can set it from here, or I can set it in here. And that will allow me to pick any of those again, all the same list. I can pick them in the settings or conveniently it's down here so I can just pick it from there. So that's my setup. Hopefully that helps you to understand how my system is set up. If you have any questions, comments, anything that you would prefer to see on my system, uh, feel free to leave me a message. If you're a patron, feel free to leave me a message there. If you're a member of the channel, feel free to leave me a message there. I keep a close eye on everything there. So if you haven't subscribed already, as you probably know, it's free and you can subscribe to multiple channels. So it's not like you only have a certain amount of subscriptions you can do. So go ahead and subscribe for me just so that I can make sure that you'll see the next video when it comes out. And it does me a favor in that it makes uh, the algorithm show my videos to more people. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to buy me a coffee, please feel free to do so. If you want to join the Patreon or you want to become a member here on YouTube, feel free to do that too. Thanks for watching and I look forward to making the next one.